Hello and welcome to a devlog video on this main channel. Today I'll share my journey of this game I made called Cardo Punk. The game is an endless running game where you need to avoid obstacles but with the use of cards to get rid of some of the obstacles to get through. For example, a lot of blocks, weakness is water so you need to pay you need to play the water card to fire its projectiles from that block to destroy it. And so it goes on with different elements. Your goal is to defeat your high score and that's all it's for its game loop. It's a fun and addictive game to play and made this little game project just for fun. I know people didn't pay much attention to the game but the game making experience is overall fun. Now on to the game making process. Before I start making the game itself, I decided to write a couple of game ideas and brainstorm of what the next game project should be. There's a lot of good ones that can work, but some of them are either too ambitious or too complicated for a small game. But the one thing that I'm interested on is the idea of endless runner and the use of card mechanics. But some of these game ideas can be implemented to a game in the future. While this idea is interested enough to make a game, the theme or the look for the game is steampunk kind of style. While, while also brainstorming idea, I was watching Blackthorn Sprout's video. It gave me boosts of inspirations, motivations and passion to make games on Unity. Seriously, go check on his channel and his videos because he's one of the game developers that got me hooked on Unity. Now on to the process of making the game art. The style I'm going for is Blackthorn Prod style with the steampunk theme I had in mind. The main player look is the, this little robot character with one eye with his propeller on top of it. Now the enemies or obstacle design is straightforward and the looks is based on its elements. The card design is more like the one I drew before, took that reference and designed to a more simpler one. Now the asset making phase is done, we can now talk about how the bits and mechanics made on Unity Game Engine. Now I watched a couple of tutorials from Blackform Prod to get some warm up or learn specific things that I haven't done before. For example, a car tutorial. That helped me a lot and now I can put it on the game as I intended. Spawning obstacles is also learned by his endless runner tutorial. Seriously, all of his tutorials are amazing and straightforward to learn. All of this game knowledge I have will be very useful on my future games. This has, by far, changed me to a whole different level of making games. Comparing that with my past attempts of making games on Unity is really rewarding to see. So hopefully some people out there struggling where this, they start on making games, internet, tutorials, or courses are your friends to help you start. And that's the end of this devlog video. Hopefully some of you will inspire you and come along to the journey of making games. And I would love to hear your game making experience on the comment section down below. I will post more of these devlogs soon and excited to share more things of my game making experience. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.